you know, suddenly you, you get this idea, wow, there it is, now this is the way we can do it. Is this possible? Can it please be possible to do something like this? You bend your vision around a corner, it's quite a magical thing to do. The mission and philosophy is that we want to create the best refractive loop in the world. There was more and more demands from the market. They wanted this kind of solution because of the ergonomics and it was solving that problem with the ergonomics. Of course it did. But still, I was not satisfied with what I saw. And it's obvious what the problem was with, with those ergo loops on the market. There was this main problem with the placement of the loop in the carrier lens. The loop was mounted very high. That means you cannot have any idea of what is going on in the office. They were completely just sitting in front of the person's eyes and, and blocking the view, like if uh, you were wearing binoculars or something. You have to reach out for instruments, You're watching your screen with x-ray or having conversations with the assistant. With the normal refractive loops we saw on the market, this was impossible. In XM Mission, we have a philosophy that you, you have to be able to look out and, and have a good peripheral vision. We had to find a solution where we eliminated this flaw from all the other products. Well, Kim is uh, obviously the, the founder of XM Mission. Well, he's a big optical nerd and um, very optimistic guy in terms of what should be possible. We took this meeting with our engineers in Copenhagen and had some brainstorming. How can we do it? And we saw some drawings. At that point, the idea came to me. Why don't we just flip it upside down? The optics, the prism system, the mirror, everything. Suddenly it was there, the idea. And then we made the drawings with the engineers. And after a few days, they came up with some ideas that seemed to be working. Kim had already developed a first version of the optical system together with Copenhagen Optical. So I just got these crude parts and I was asked, can you make a design that, that makes this possible in the real world? But nobody had any idea how, to, how these parts would, would go together. How can you even make a shape that can be assembled around the parts? Les is our product designer, a very uh, smart and clever guy, and he has been designing a lot of things for us. The form is very natural for what is inside the loop, like creating an organic or aerodynamic flow that connects these otherwise very blocky parts. All these kind of organic structures that uh, is generally my primary inspiration. There's a lot of uh, like a, a, even a sports car, a spaceship, all sorts of smoothly flowing organic surfaces in there when you look in, in the details. It was quite a big challenge reaching this design because of the, the physical limitations of how thin these shell pieces can be. We had already chosen magnesium as a material, especially because it is uh, very light. I had to go back and forth with the manufacturing people. The initial response to, to what I wanted was that this, this is not possible <laughs> to make. Our target is to make the lightest refractive loop in the world, and we did it for sure. I think we, we achieved and even went a little bit beyond what, what was thought possible for, for a refractive loop like that. The Kepler Reflect is unique in that it, it ended up being so light and so slim that it's much, much lighter than any of our other prismatic loops. The unique features here is, uh, of course, next to the lightness, uh, it's the fine focus. We can adjust for different working distances. We had this red dot award and it's a proof that we, we hit something uh, spot on design wise. The existing uh, range of loops is completed with the reflect now. I'm happy, yes. I'm proud, yeah, sure.